Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to make cute little potion bottle embellishments. I didn't stick anything on yet. Um, originally, I had cut these out because I wanted to make a pouch. So I was going to put them together and I was going to cut like a little window in one of the pieces and then put wire wrapped beads in here. But um, it cut out a little too small. Like I thought it was going to be so big. It was like three by four inches. But yeah, that's the total thing, not just this like one like part that I needed to be that big. Um, because now I can't really make it into a patch. It's a little too small if I was to put it together and stitch it. And then wire wrapped beads take up some space, so I'd be able to fit like a couple in here. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna turn them into embellishments instead. So I cut out the pieces. It is like a love potion kind of um SVG file, but I will have it linked down below. In case you guys want to make some super cute um, Halloween embellishments as well. Now I am going to be stitching around this. And I'm planning on making this part into like a little shaker. So I will show you guys the process part for that. Alright guys, so let's get started. Alright guys, so here are my embellishments that we stitched on. I am going just to glue these pieces on top and I do realize that I stitched um, on the top there too, but that's okay. Um, I want the silver showing and this is like a, it's like a glossy, but not, so it's like shiny silver, but matte at the same time, if that makes any sense. But I'm just attaching these other pieces on here to make it look a little bit more like a potion bottle. And then this one as well. And that just goes right there. So you still see like that piece like in the center. Aren't these so cute? And look, they're little shakers. They don't shake that much because there's not like a lot of room for them to move but I still think it looks really cute being um, a shaker. Now, um, let's try to use some of this ephemera. It's a little big though. So I guess we're using the sticker ephemera instead. I honestly just need to stop buying <laughs> ephemera altogether. Um, I'll buy the sticker sheets because these are like a better size, but ephemera itself is a little too big. Okay, so let's see what I want to put here. Um, I think I want to put October 31st on one of these. Oh, actually, I have some um, other stickers as well. I wanted to use these on the potion bottles to symbolize like that they're deadly. I have like two of these left. <laughs> so... Oh, where would this go? This should go like right in the center, right? Um, we might try to decorate around this a little bit. Um, yeah, don't really know what I'm doing here. All right, I'm trying to use up this sheet as well. So maybe we could use something from here. Kind of like these. I'm like all over the place with... um 
Oh, these are really big. But if I just use one, nope. I don't even know how to embellish these guys. Let's get some rosettes, I guess. Let's try some rosettes. Mm, see, that covers up the whole thing right there. Maybe some itty bitty rosettes I made. That looks better. Okay, maybe something like that. Um, this is really hard. Maybe I'll just use some of these words down here. Maybe one of these could say treats. Okay, maybe something like that. Haven't decided yet, guys. Um, and then maybe some gold thread behind that. And then maybe this other one. Maybe you could say like spooky or something. Oh, wait, we could use, now we have a spider web already. Maybe this behind here. It's hard. Maybe just something like that. Because I still want the shaker to be showing a little bit. Maybe this one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's see, what else could I add here? Let's get some puffy stickers. Okay, maybe this one will have like a mwahahaha beware sticker. I like this also, and it says like the rest in peace. It says treats. Um, and... It needs a little something else. Maybe we'll add some like at the stars. But like all of these are just so big. It's so hard. Okay, this one I'm gonna put up a little higher. I want you to be able to see the fright part. Okay, hold on. Let's turn it a little bit more. Okay, maybe like that. It's gonna be like a like a simple embellishment because there's just like a lot going on here, I feel, already. So I don't wanna like ruin it. I still want you to be able to see, you know, the shaker part. Owl. Maybe right there. And then These puffy stickers are so cute. Oh, I like that. I think we might do that. And then this one. I'm liking this one as well. And maybe we'll put this down here. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. So they both got, um, rosettes and things and i think they're cute so let me get my hot glue gun where do i want the thread maybe it'll go down here behind the words okay so this will just get some hot glue here this little owl isn't it cool that like something unexpected that i wasn't even trying to make into an embellishment had to become an embellishment because my other project didn't work so i mean this was this was good i wasn't expecting 
it to happen this way, but it did, and it's 100% fine. And these turned out really cute. So, like, I didn't want to waste the paper. You don't waste crepe paper. Oh, no. <gasps> that was not supposed to go there. Oh, my goodness. It fell. Well, let's try to get that off. Okay. It's fine, guys. It's alive. All right. So, this I'm going to put right here. And... I am actually going to do silver thread. I thought I was going to do um, gold thread, but because this top is silver, I think I want to stick with silver. And I'm going to put that behind the words. So the words are going to go, how are they going to go again? They're going to go like this. So I'm going to glue those together. I'm just going to put like a little teeny strip of hot glue. And I want them to stick together. Okay. Like that. I think I meant to have the boo on the other side, but it's okay. Let me get my silver thread. And this is just too thick for me to stitch with. Um, when I first started, you know, getting into the whole crafting thing, I didn't know um, about like thread and I just wanted to get some to layer behind some things. So I didn't know what I was buying, but it worked out because I get to use this on projects and actually I've never even used this silver one before <laughs> so it's coming in handy and I'm just like putting this on here in tons of different directions trying to hold it in place as best as I could because I am going to put some hot glue on this afterwards so I'm going to put some hot glue on here Be very careful with this, guys. And I'm going to use a finger thing to kind of get it set in place. Okay. We glued some to the desk here. You guys see that piece of glue? It's okay. Look, it comes right off. I mean, not that easily because it's stuck to my thread, but it comes off. Okay. All right. We killed my thread a little bit, but it's fine. Okay. So there's some thread behind that. Looks super cute. And then I'll just put... Um, some hot glue back here because this is no longer sticky there's hot glue all over it that's dried up isn't that super cute guys i'm still gonna add some jemmies and some enamel dots but i think that turned out really cute so now this one, this is stuck on there pretty well, but just to be safe, add a little bit of hot glue and I'm running out. It's always during a video where you run out of hot glue. Okay, we got some, I'm trying to get it stuck in there now. So I gotta push it with the other glue stick until eventually that sticks down. You guys know how it is. All right, so. Stick that one down. Look, my mini rosettes are coming in handy. I love that. I love that I have a use for them. And then I'm going to attach this guy here. He didn't quite go where I wanted him to go, but it's okay. And then... 
for these pieces, I'm going to attach the mohaha to it. Okay, and I'm going to stick some thread on there as well. Okay guys, and then this is just going to live right down here. Okay, and then I'm going to get some jemmies. So I'm going to get some orangey ones maybe. Hold on. Um, I have these orangey glitter ones, but they're hearts. Oh wait, I got these orangey glittery ones. And I'm just going to stick them on to random places. So maybe we'll add one right here. Okay, so I'm doing a mixture of colors, like this lighter orange and like a darker orange. They're all glittery. Um, maybe a dark orange. And then one down here. Maybe one more. <laughs> Let's do a yellow one. Oops. <laughs> Why can't I get this to stick? No. Don't like that. Okay, I'm going to do another small one right here. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one. Okay guys, so here are my embellishments. Didn't they turn out so cute? Oh, I think they're so adorable. So you got some layers, you got some, like a little rosette, this little thing, and I just feel like it looks like the potion is deadly, so I like it there. And then it also says rest in peace. 
I got some thread. It says boo and treats. I got this owl up here and then some jemmies. And then there's this one. And again, rosette. You got that piece here. It says fright. Beware. Mwah -ha, -ha, ha And you got like some of those glitter enamel dots. They're so cute. Oh, I love them. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I shall see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.